I, Nero Finance, I find it uh, extremely intriguing. What are you doing? Thanks. So what we do, we do the software development for the bank, so we're B2B. However, we're B2B2C, so we do the Nero Finance. So we hope to, at some point, to be able to connect the neurons, the decision making, and the way we see and analyze them in the private investor minds and how this could be addressed in their portfolios in the stock market performance. Uh, so that's the future, that's four years from now. Today we do the normal classic applications which we are providing for the banks and they can understand their clients better, they can see their behavior biases and they can make sure that there is no, no bad experience in the market or with the bank during the customer life cycle. So, so which type of data sources do you have? Which type of data and how do you, how do you deal with it? Uh, so we suggest the, the, the client of the bank which we provide the, the software with is uh, playing our tool, which is basic questions, then the number of simulations, uh, decisions to make, and then we, we see his portrait, we see his psychological portrait, we see his investor profile. Uh, all of that is being compliant with the local international regulations in terms of investor protection suitability. Uh, and then the bank has his full profile, which he can, in a good way, use this data to provide him with a better investment advice. So okay, so it's, it's, trust. it's all based on, on people's data that they hand over to you, like in forms they fill out? Correct, but now we try to avoid finally the forms and no paper anymore, so we do it digitally and yeah, we invite people to go on this channel. However, yeah, since we still have regulator there, all of that needs to be printed and then signed by both parties. Do, do, for your type of work, do you see a future where you don't need to have people actually actively filling out, even if it's on a web page, but you can actually capture data that they allow you to get? And what kind of data would that be? Oh, well, uh, we were discussing yesterday with the, with the person who was coming here that if he would be allowing me to get access to his Facebook and I would be advising him on investments, he would be my client forever, even though we would be losing money year on year. So, yeah, if that, like, yeah, again, the matter of ethics. So ideally, we agree which data we use, which data is applicable, and which data is actually like, helping to avoid the decisions which are creating some bad experience again, I'm repeating myself. So this is the basic data which the customer would like to know about himself as well. And like, again, we are using it to get together to have a better experience. Thank you very much, Dimitri, for your precious time. Thank you.